Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the year 2021, the Ministry of Defense has placed an order for 118 main battle tank Arjun Mark 1A worth Rs 7,523 crore activating the AVNL that is Armored Vehicle Nikam Limited production line which was idle for almost 10 years. The first batch of Arjun main battle tank will be delivered to Indian Army by March 2024 and the order is expected to be complete by 2026. It has also been reported that DRTU has approached Indian Army for more orders on Arjun Mark 1A. The Arjun Mark 1A is 68 ton, most lethal, sophisticated and all-weather rugged bull of Indian Army. The Mark 1A version comes with 72 improvements including 14 major upgrades as specifically requested by Army. It is also the safest tank of Indian Army. Recently, DRDO chief has given an extensive interview to Focus News where he has explained about DRDO's roadmap till 2030 to achieve self-reliance in defense technologies. The DRDO chief has explained that the roadmap of DRDO by 2030 focuses on new research areas like artificial intelligence, smart materials, quantum technology, asymmetric technologies and cognitive technologies. DRDO will come up with many more new innovations like AMCA, LCA Mark II, Long Range Radars, Advanced Missile Technologies and Arjun Mark II. Earlier, it was considered that Arjun Mark II project is almost dead and there has not been any news on its development. However, DRDO chief has confirmed that Arjun Mark II is under upcoming projects of DRDO, which is a welcome news not only for Indian Army but also for Indian defense ecosystem. This will ensure that the learning from development of Arjun Mark I, 1A and light tank which is still under development can further be matured and enhanced in the upcoming Aju Mark II project. The Aju Mark II can be offered to Indian Army for its FRCV requirement. The evolution of new age technologies such as UCAFs, lottery munition, etc. have posed a new threat to main battle tank from aerial dimension. Further, the improvement in ISR capabilities has also made targeting of land forces especially tanks quite easy. The battlefield now requires all forces to operate in synergetic and networked environment to counter the future threats and combat overmatch over adversary there is need for a modern main battle tank which is superior and incorporates niche technologies such as artificial intelligence see-through armor and has ability to operate in a network centric electronic warfare environment. Now, in order to achieve this, the Ministry of Defense in May 2021 has released a request for information RFI to procure 1,770 new generation future tank platform, which is called Future Ready Combat Vehicle or FRCV in a phased manner with expected induction to commence by 2030. The FRCB to be developed is considered to be in service for next 40 to 50 years. The platform is planned to be procured under strategic partnership route similar to Project 75 I submarine project of Indian Navy. The Indian strategic partner along with foreign partner will collaborate and develop the FRCB. The Indian partner will retain the ownership of design and technologies for the platform. While there has been no news on the FRC program, DRDO has been silently developing the technologies that could be used in future main battle tanks. The main battle tank's armor can be categorized in two main types. The first one is classical rolled steel or cast steel armor. This has been further evolved to composite armor, which includes layers of both rolled steel, ceramic layers, and sometimes even calver like material to improve the inner energy absorption layer design for better handling of high explosive anti-tank or heat rounds. The Kanchan composite armor, for example, used in Arjun MBT is one such example of composite armor 
which consist of ceramic tiles and composite panels sandwiched between rolled homogeneous armor or RHA plates. The Kanchan armor has been tested against a variety of modern anti-tank munition including the AP-FSTS rounds. DRDU has further developed the high nitrogen steel or HNS for armor application. The HNS possesses excellent mechanical and ballistic properties. It is an ideal material for armor application due to its low cost. DMRL has developed a nickel-free high nitrogen steel by refining the thermo-mechanical process to get better mechanical properties. The ballistic performance test carried out against small projectiles have established that the steel is suitable for use as arm material for futuristic protection applications. It provides improved ballistic and blast protection than existing rolled homogeneous armor or RHA material with reduced thickness. It provides performance improvement of 30 to 35 percent compared to RHA steel against soft projectiles, 5 to 15 percent against armor piercing projectiles. HNS has similar performance in comparison to RHA steel against long rod anti tank projectiles. However, it costs about half when compared to RHA steel. The second type of armor is ERA, that is, Explosive Reactive Armor. ERA is used for protection of tanks against anti tank threats, namely high explosive, anti tank heat, and kinetic energy ammunition. ERA uses explosive charges which counter attacks on the anti tank munition. HEMRL has successfully developed ERA Mark 1 and ERA Mark 2. ERA Mark 1 is fitted on T72 tanks, whereas ERA Mark 2 is likely to be used on MBT Arjun Mark 1A and import substitute for T90 tanks. Further, to develop ERA capable of defeating anti tank missiles equipped with tandem shaped charge warheads, in addition to mono shaped charges and kinetic energy projectiles, HEMRL has taken up development of NG ERA, which is called Next Generation Explosive Reactive Armor. So, this NG ERA has been developed in association with DMRL and CVRD as per the protection requirements of next generation mean battle tank and it can be adapted to any tank as per the requirement. NG ERA has been evaluated against two types of in service tandem shaped charge warheads and tank fired 125 mm FS APDS ammunition. NG ERA has consistently been able to reduce the penetration of tandem shaped charge warheads by more than 50% and kinetic projectiles by more than 30%. Further, mock up fitment of NG ERA on T72 was carried out at CVRD to finalize the fitment aspect. The most important feature of NG ERA is that it's immune to small arms firing and negate sympathetic detonation of adjacent modules. NGERA adds additional weight of nearly 1.65 tons to the tanks. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.